Hey guys, uh, it's Cody from Swift Serpents here. This is going to be a quick video, a different type of video. I'm sure all you guys that watch Reptile videos now know about um, the Competes Act 2022. What this is, is basically an amendment of the Lacey Act, which U.S. already shot down in the past. But um, it's back again. It seems to come back every year. And... Uh, Guys, if you work in exotic animals, not just reptiles, any exotic animals that is not a dog or a cat, this will affect you. Um, if you own these animals, even if you don't work and you just own these animals, this bill affects you. So I am not um, educationally equipped to explain this whole bill, but I am going to just gloss over the talking points of it and um, the main issues with this whole bill so this is off the u.s arc website i'm gonna um i'm gonna put the links to everything below in the captions um there is a link for you to email your your state office and kind of explain to them what's going on and how this will affect you now we need to be civil we need to not swear at people we need to not come across as threatening we need to just show that we will band together and this bill will affect millions of people. It will put people like me that have spent their life learning about these animals, working with these animals. It will put me out of a job. My, ch my three children, his father will not have a job no more. He will not have a profession. Um, by profession, I'm a veterinarian's assistant as well, so that will affect that. Um, so anyway email state office on the u.s arc website there are talking points and there is a like sample letter to send it's a good idea to kind of just send the sample letter just to show our presence so this is number one off the u.s arc website of the competes act 2022 it will ban the interstate transportation of species listed as injurious this means you cannot take a pet with you if you move to another state or seek specialized veterinary medical care across state lines. So guys, what that means is if you own exotic animals, again, reptiles, fish, anything, and you're in the military and you get stationed somewhere else, you will not be allowed to take your animals with you. Your animals will have to be euthanized or adopted out to somebody in that state. Um, if you're just a regular person that wants to move out of state and you take your animal with you across state lines, you're committing a crime. You could spend up to five years in prison and be fined $25,000 per animal. So let that sink in for, for someone like me that has hundreds of animals. Five years in prison per animal and $25,000 in fines. This is insane. They're turning regular people, hardworking Americans, into felons, into criminals. And it's it's... It's crazy, it's scary, and it's disgusting, guys. We need to band together. So that's number one. Oh, and another thing. Um, say you you own a, an animal like, a, we'll say, a pig, right? And none of the vets in your area see pigs, so you go out of state to see a vet. You will be committing a crime. No vet will see your animal. Therefore, it puts you in a bad situation to either give your animal up, euthanize them, or let them die of whatever ailment they have. This is the America we are in in 2022, guys. Okay, number two. It will help the government create a white list. This means only those species listed are allowed. So a white list is basically they'll say, well, we're going to make everything else. We're going to ban all the other species, but, you know, we'll, we'll let people keep ball pythons, goldfish, and um, bearded dragons or leopard geckos. These are just... Hypothetical examples, I have not seen any whitelist actually posted yet. So they'll allow you to have some sort of whitelist of species that will be able to be imported. This means that any rept animal, reptile, amphibian, fish, bird, or mammal that is not on the whitelist is by default treated as a potential injurious species and will be banned from importation. So again, say the white list is a ball python, a goldfish, and a bearded dragon. Anything that is not those species, or a dog or a cat, will be illegal to import into your state, to take with you out of state, anything of the sort. So basically, once yours passes away, that is it. Um, if you, you know, have a rare species of animal, 
let's say you have a Bowens python, big female, you know, and, and you've done all this work to raise them. Now you look for a male and, you know, you can't get it anymore because they're an injurious species and they're now illegal. It, it's just, it, it blows my mind. All right, so let's see here. Okay. Number three, establish a new authority allowing FWS to use an emergency designation that becomes effective immediately after being published into federal register. This means no due process, public input, hearing advance notice, etc. for injurious listings. This means that interstate transport could be shut down overnight without any warning for any species. This means that interstate transport could be shut down overnight without any warning for any species. Guys, you could wake up tomorrow and find out that if you take your tegu out of state, you are a criminal going to do five years in jail. This is crazy. We need to wake up and band together. All right, let's see here. Since we had previously beheld unreasonable and prejudiced injurious listings, this new emergency designation is beyond disturbing. Okay. Number four, permit FWS to not allow importation if a species has not been imported into minimal quantities to be defined in the year prior to the enactment of this act. So any animals that came in in extremely small quantities and maybe aren't popular will also be banned. Um, and number five, create an immense potential for trickle-down legislation in which individual states ban even the possession of listed species, as we have already witnessed, even an injurious species cannot possibly survive in that state. So, for example, um, let's say they list these animals as injurious and this ban does go through. The way it's written is you will still be allowed to keep your animals, just not leave state or import new ones you know, after. But when stuff like this happens, it wakes other states up. For example, I live in Massachusetts, right? So if this if this ban passes, Massachusetts could say, you know what? We'll just ban Tegus altogether, just like South Carolina did and Florida did. And then you will not be allowed to have your animal. It will be like Florida where they tell you, you have so and so amount of time to get rid of your animal through us or we will come to your house and shoot your animal in front of you. Okay, um, let's see. Number six. This is the last one, guys. Taint injurious listings with a lookalike carryover, as we have seen with Endangered Species Act listings. Species may be listed as injurious simply because they look like another species. Even if they cannot survive in U.S. climate, they would be labeled as injurious solely due to appearance. Unbelievable, guys. Again, I'm going to post the links to all this stuff below. Please check it out. Take the 10 minutes to read this act. There is way more. I just led the top six talking points. Guys, sign the petition. I'm also going to put a link to sign the petition and send off. Please share this video. Like this video. Subscribe. Get the word out. Exotic animal lovers in general, we need to band together, guys.